let's go ahead and open up Unity. So on my desktop, what you should see is Unity. The current version I'm using is the 5.3.2, but really any 5 point version or up is probably going to work pretty fine with it. Um, what we want to do is start this one. The one thing I do have already, though, is a Crossy Road folder. The folder itself um, is going to be where we'll place our project. And then we have some files that we'll download. All right. So let's go ahead and open up Unity here. And what we're going to do is start up a new Crossy Road project. So we'll go to new right here. And then for the project name, let's go ahead and say Crossy Road. And then you can place location and place it on your desktop or place it in a folder somewhere. Uh, preferably, you know, called like Crossy Road. Um, we'll go ahead and click on create project. And once Unity builds everything out for us, we'll build a startup on it. So normally, uh, for the layout, something you'll probably be seeing is something like this if it's the first time you've opened Unity or if you use the default uh, UI scheme that comes with Unity. What we're going to do is go ahead and change this. If you've already done previous videos, then you may already have the different control schemes, which is great. You can switch to it. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is just Go ahead and drag out and change up the locations. What we want to do is make sure we're all using the same uh, tabs in the same spots for the panels. I'm just going to take the project panel, drag it to the side, the console in between, the project for the project panel itself. Let's go ahead and uh, just right click on the tab and you can do one column layout. And we'll pull the project tab just to kind of let the panel make it smaller right there. Let's go ahead and drag the hierarchy one over and the inspector one over. We want as much real estate on the uh, center panel here as we can. We'll take the uh, console down, we'll make it a little bit smaller. When we start doing some coding, we'll probably make it a little bit higher just to work within the, uh, the needs. All right, so I'm just going to drag those out. We'll do about a half and half here so we can see both at the same time. All right, so you should be comfortable with the panels. If you're not, be sure to check out the videos that kind of go over interface and setting things up on that part. But all we've done is place the project one column panel here. We have the scene, game, hierarchy, inspector. And then the bottom part, we have the console going across right there. All right, so that's all we've done so far. Uh, the other element inside of the scene, the gizmo, we're going to click on gizmo button, take the 3D icons off and then take the show grid off. All right. And that should set us up within our scenes. So remember, if you've set this up, if it's your first time setting it up, then you go over to the right-hand side where it says default. And on the default, just go down and say save layout. And we'll say, uh, actually, we'll just say, uh, you can put your name. I'm going to say Walker default layout. All right, so you can say click on save right there. And then this will be the Walker default layout. So every time we come back to it, we can just click on that one button and it'll just take us to the same spot. All right, so this is going to be the basic setup layout for it. Um, if once you have everything set up right there, then uh, the next step that we want to do is actually import. So we're going to import in the file. So if you remember, um, the uh, the file that you should have downloaded with was a package called Crossy Road version 1. Alright, so what I want to do is I can do it two ways. I can either drag this file over into projects or I can take and go to assets and import package. So either way, we can do it both ways on that. I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop it in since the folder is open. So we'll take this We'll drag it into the project panel. When you let go of the button, what's going to pop up inside of Unity is an import Unity package. And inside of here, what you should notice is a whole bunch of new on the side. This is just simply saying that everything in the package is going to be imported in. It's all the first time in. So we'll click on import. And what's importing in right now are objects, assets, textures, um, all the things that will basically make up the the start to the Crossy Road game. So in the projects, what we have is a Crossy Road for our game folder. And then below it are models and prefabs. All right, so we're going to finish off here 
Uh, the next video we'll walk through is just going to be setting up all the additional folders, taking a look at what's available currently to us, and then start putting things into our project.